Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more EU4 Anglophile achievement. We are at war at the moment, trying to preemptively fight into a coalition, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how well that's going, because if we have a look over here, yes, we have outraged a great many nations. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of fun. So you know what? For now, we are going to finish off our war, because that is what we need to do, and that should help uh, things. We are incredibly low on manpower, which is not something I was expecting. In fact, we're doing worse than when we were fighting the Ottomans. But again, I think that's because we've made some uh, poor decisions as far as attrition is concerned. So either way, let's dive on in and uh, see if we can get these sieges. We're going to try and finish up with Holland first. And then from there, we're going to uh, systematically keep wiping out other nations. So... Well, not wiping them out, but, uh, you know, dealing with them appropriately. All right, so it looks like uh, we have an option here. Trade power and trade... Uh, what is that? Trade power by 5 and local trade power by 10%. Uh, the Malakas won't enjoy it. Or development costing goods. You know what? I really do not care. We're just going to go for trade power. Trade power is good in this game, so that's what we're going to uh, take. Uh, we're very close to finishing up with the colony, with the uh, colonizing game as well, which is rather nice. Be able to uh, get that micromanagement out of the way. But for now, uh, we have to focus on what's ahead of us. Uh, it does look like we have a little bit of overextension still. In fact, uh, definitely go ahead and call those uh, bits and bobs. And it does look like our war exhaustion is actively going down. That is a very nice thing to see, uh, but we're going to uh, yeah see how things go anyway. So let's see, Beirut or Dipo Power. Um, I don't know who you are, but I suppose we'll grab the Dipo Power. Uh, we are getting very close to the time of imperialism, so we will pick that tech up early. But we're going to see if we can at least let it tick over a year before we do, just so it's a little bit cheaper. No point in wasting our uh, wasting our position. And it looks like, what have I done here? Oh man, I think what I've done here is I've moved the wrong troops. Jonathan Bedford, yeah, you've got good siege. You know what? What have I done? All right, so you know what? That explains why that fort is not progressing. Let's bring you over there and uh, switch you back. That'll help us a bit. Yeah, all right. Well, uh. Look at that, and now minus 42% instead of the other. Alright, let's march you onto that next fort there in Helra. That is a level 6 fort yet again, so it will take some time, but with uh, our good generals, yeah, our uh, 4434. Ah, uh, yes, I know her, Julie. We had an event with her. She is uh, quite the good general. Definitely glad to have her in our ranks. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, rebels are not currently ours, so I don't really care, and neither are those sieges. Uh, let's see. Moravia, Norway, Hungary, and Castile are doing some work. Yeah, the fact that we can uh, focus in on these guys is going to be pretty good. Oh, and I feel like we should probably see about piecing out Warsburg. Yeah, they're trying to take back their capital. That is a missed play. We probably should have pieced them out last episode. But I guess uh, things do get busy and you miss things from here and there. Alright, so that was another siege up over here. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. Munster, can we go ahead and change your religion? So let's just see. Force religion, yes, that would be viable. But we do need a great number. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hang on. Oh, sorry. My, uh... No, oh, never mind. Hang on. Okay. Never mind. Okay, well, my throat went quite croaky then for a second. All right, either way. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and uh, change their religion. That would be fantastic. They have a decent number of troops, so that'd be good. In fact, uh, can we do the same thing for Holland? If we go over here, Force Religion, 245%. What the heck? Uh, 
Oh right, I forgot they have land all the way over here. So maybe we need to get them to give some of that up and then we can focus on them in the future for uh, that changing of religion. Yes, yes, yes. That would be very, very good. All right. Uh, now we do have some troops all the way up here. The question is, uh, separatism is still fairly high. Are you doing rebel suppression at the moment? You know what? We'll just keep you there. I don't think we have to worry about too much. Uh, yeah. We're going to uh, see about some occupations. Uh, as soon as we can peace Holland out, we probably will. In fact, we may even take some of their... Actually, no, we won't. Our aggressive expansion is already far too high. We're just going to peace everybody out when they are able. And uh, since we can't get that forced religion, I think we'll go... Actually, could we say concede Canada? You know, that's not out of the question, but that would give up a bit of land and make them a little bit easier. And in fact, uh, would we take the aggressive expansion? We will. Uh, so you know what? We're just going to have to leave things be there, I guess. Okay, so we can't send a peace treaty for now. We need, we need a diplomat. So let's... Ooh. Uh, yeah, Aragon, we can call you back. That should only take a couple of days. Let's go ahead and uh, just set that demand. We're going to, uh, you know what? We'll take a couple of ducats. Better in our hands than in yours. Uh, that'll free up our military might. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Who have we got left? Munster, Saxony, Verden. Ooh, in fact, we actually need to take land from Verden. Ooh. I believe we need that for a mission. A very uh, long-awaited mission. We have... Where is this? Monopolize the Oh, Hansa. Yeah, so we need to take... We need to fight a Lubeck as well as Bremen. Oh, never mind. I guess it's not... Bremen, not Verden. Oops. Alright, well, and then we also need uh, Riga and Danzig. Well, I guess we will uh, probably get to those at some point in the future. Yeah. All right. Well, the good news is we can take that from Austria fairly easily. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right. So let's grab our armies and make sure that they are staying somewhat together. Uh, we're going to march on up over there. We're going to bring these guys over to the capital. No, we're going to bring you over there. And uh, we're going to get these guys to take care of. Oh, no, never mind. That's about all the land that we need. Oh, Saxony is over there. So you know what? Uh, once we go ahead and uh, take this uh, occupation here, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on over there. A colony is self-sustaining. I think that there is no more. So uh, that is good news, but... We're moving on from such endeavors at this stage. Let's grab both of them. We'll head over to, let's see, not Wundberg, Saxony. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually, you know what? No, let's go for Versburg. We're going to see if we can piece them out. We are crippling the alliance as it uh, does stand. So they should be a little bit more open to uh, negotiations this time around. And uh, that's a level seven fort. So that's going to take 35,000 men, if memory serves. No, 21,000 men. That's right, because it's uh, 3,000 men for every level of fort. As uh, it stays with the historical, roughly uh, the uh, need of three times the amount of attackers than it does defenders. So ratio, so yep, that's right. We're going to go ahead and I guess we leave... Well, he's got one siege pip, so I suppose that could be worse. Let's uh, detach the remainder. Uh, we'll grab that 21,000 men. Let's bring them over. No, let's just stand in the province nearby. Just in case they try and do any funny business, we should be able to uh, take care of that. Uh, how many men are we fighting now? Only... Oh, still fighting 200,000 men. Oh, wait a second. We're not fighting. That's how many men they've lost. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, we're fighting 50,000. Yeah, so about 100,000 in total. So 
Yeah, we'll keep them uh, somewhat uh, together. Alright, uh, Denmark has been occupied there. Munster is uh, not a problem there. You guys should move up over here, I suppose. Uh, there was a, another stack of men, weren't there? 28,000 or so? Ah, uh, looks... Wait a second. Uh, no, that's fine. Hmm. No, I don't even know what I did with this. Oh, 27,000 men. Right. Maybe, uh, that was his accompanying, uh, friend. Yeah, and you know what? We'll even bring, uh, them over for siege. Alright, you know what? We'll just, uh, figure this out as it goes. That level 4 siege will be, uh, far better on that level 7 fort. So we'll, uh, get her and, uh, get her to take control of that. And then we'll go ahead and deal with the rest. Uh, it looks like we have maxed out on our power, so we may as well go ahead and grab some tech. Uh, that'll give us some nice upgrades. Enables Heavy Frigate, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much all we need. So what is coming up next? Combat with make corrupt officials, trade range, trade efficiency, another frigate for our uh, galleys. Yeah, the Archipelago Frigate. Yep, that makes sense. And uh, yeah, now all that we need is this military tech. But again, not before we get that extra siege ability. That siege ability is what we want to get a hold of. All right, so uh, let's grab the f smaller stack of 27,000. We will also shift and select the other ones. Uh, we'll march them. Uh, you know what? We're just going to march them over here for now. That should be able to withstand that. We don't have to worry about any of the uh, rebels either. Uh, oh, rebels have uh, popped up on a fort. I suppose that could get a lot worse, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, we're going to have to... F yeah, we're going to let them sit back and see if we can recoup some of our manpower. I really would prefer to have a little bit of that, if at all possible. Uh, that fort should be going down fairly quickly. Yeah, let's uh, detach the siege. Let's make sure that, again, mitigating that attrition. Uh, a little bit more micromanaging than normal, but again, if you make multiple bad decisions all in a row, it does hurt you. So, let's go ahead and grab that extra siege ability. Thank you very, very much. So this takes us to, let's see, land force equipment modifier goes up by 15%. Special unit cost modifier goes down by 20 Then we get that discipline as well as recovery of army morale speed and then a bunch of policies too so that will be incredibly nice uh we'll let that stay i guess uh we're still gonna grab that tech next uh prestige got a little bit to excess so let's go ahead and spend what's going on here with the 13 colonies our mercantilism is hurting Ooh, tariffs as well admin efficiency Hmm. You know what? We can happily go ahead and placate those rulers. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll do that once. We'll grab that extra 20 prestige. I don't care about the extra, uh, the extra, what do we call it? Uh, power as it stands. I think I would, uh, yeah, we've already, I don't think it's too important. Maybe, nah, well, either way. Right choices, wrong choices. They are the choices that have been made. All right, so, uh, yeah, all that we've got to do is... Oh, that's one more fort over and done with. Let's grab a U and a U. That'll do nicely. And uh, we'll grab the other one. Second. Go one, two, and three. There we go. Sort that out. Uh, and 28% on this other one. We should be able to get rid of Munster fairly quickly. It looks like uh, they want out. What is it going to take us again? 91% for them to convert religion. And that is what we need. We need them to understand that uh, there is only one faith. That is right. Alright, so uh, let's move the you guys over here. I think we should also... Oh, Hanover is finished. That could be the uh, 
piece that we needed. No? What have we got? Length of war demands exceeding war score. Hmm. Oh, and uh, can we negotiate for the entire alliance? So I guess we're not going to piece them out. We need to piece out uh, everybody else instead. Um, so let's go over to Würzburg. And uh, we're going to see what can we do here. Getting close. Ally in war. Uh, let's see. What about Frankfurt? Where are you guys, buddy? Oh, you're over there. Okay, you're incredibly close. Um, I can't believe I even missed that. Alright, well, I guess you've got uh, how many siege pips? You have one siege pip. We'll let them do their thing, I suppose. Uh, it's not going to change too much. Let's bring you guys... I guess a little bit closer. Maybe if they have more cannons? Nine cannons... You know what? 23 cannons should be enough. They should have enough there, so we're going to let that be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give them military access. Not that I really care about them, but not giving them uh, access does hurt relations. Uh, they do like it when you give them what they ask for when they uh, do go ahead and ask for things. So we'll go ahead and try that out. Uh, we have occupied pretty much everything. Let's see, who else have we got left? Saxony. Okay, let's start working on you. That is a necessity. Let's bring you up over there. Yeah, we're just going to uh, see about how much, uh, how quickly we can get through all of these. All right, so that is full occupation of Würzburg, and they are willing to peace out, but of course we can't do it because they are a junior member. Darn it. Okay, so Denmark's not worth it negotiating with. Verden, Würzburg or Saxony. It's just Munster and Frankfurt. Well, Frankfurt uh, can be changed religion, so let's grab our super siege general. We're going to march her on over there. And then these guys... I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, what do we need here? 91% for you. Yeah, I guess we can bring you guys up over to Saxony just so we can get an extra siege down. Yeah, not exactly uh, super effective, but it is what it is, so... Oh well. And uh, you know what? Just to make sure that our stack stays nice and safe, let's go... Ah, oh, darn it, they've got too many ships out there at the moment. Although those galleys... Never mind, we can outpace them. So let's uh, drop off over there. Uh, what were you doing? Stopped protecting trade. Wait a second. Oh, they're light ships. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, that is certainly not what I meant to do. Go back. Uh, but we will go ahead and upgrade you all. That makes sense. We can upgrade you too. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, what else do we need? We probably have more navies that need upgrading. Where have we left our ships? They are floating around somewhere, are they not? Aha! There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's take care of their navy there. Let's go ahead and surprise them a little. That'll do nicely. All right. So uh, yeah, all that we need now is uh, we will take some attrition on Frankfurt. But again, another uh, non-heretic prince will be uh, very good to see. Yeah, man. I really would have loved if we could have uh, done much better in that league war. But that silly little AI decided that they wanted to do what they thought was a good idea. And uh, that has caused me quite a lot of grievance. So, oh well. Unfortunately, you cannot do what you cannot do. Um, yeah, so we can't force them to be the right religion, which is uh, something I would have preferred to have done. But you know what? It is what it is. Worst comes to worst, if uh, we can't go so far and uh, fix our... Uh, for our mission, we can't get the... What reform is it passed? Hang on a second. We have a re uh, mission here. It's a uh, British Ascendant. Yeah, we must uh, gain... Yeah, Emperor and proclaim the Echo thing or... Uh, yeah, remove the HRE from existence. We'll do that if we must at the very end, if we haven't been able to uh, get that far. But I would prefer to uh, make it through if we could. Just uh, adds a little bit of extra uh, 
yeah, a little bit extra into the series. After all, having a strong HRE is always kind of cool. All right, looks like uh, brains have fallen. Monster is still trying to fight. Religious action is at 200, so you know what? Let's grab ourselves another free stability. Actually, you know what? We could probably get back up to uh, level 3 if we paid 111. I think that's fair. Yeah, our overextension does hurt it a bit, but I don't think it really matters. We're not picking up tax, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then let's move ourselves up to level 3. Uh, extra legitimacy is always nice. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, not too bad. Gained a couple of core provinces immediately after. Of course, that would be the timing. Uh, Mines is in a coalition, which is not what we prefer. Oh, uh, well. Well, look at it this way. We are... We're getting awfully close to being able to piece out uh, everybody. 14%, uh, that's the one we're looking for. As soon as that goes, then we can see about piecing out everybody else. So, what have we got here? We have 21%. Oh man, I am really tempted to uh, use some military power just to blow open those walls. But I guess it is what it is. Yeah, they're making occupations, but it is a thing. Uh, prestige, sure, let's go ahead and we'll grab that. Uh, that'll at least help speed things up. Oh, and there goes Frankfurt. Okay, his, uh, let's... Uh, Let's say goodbye to the heretic and welcome in a brother to the faith. Let's also go ahead and see Frankfurt, Frankfurt. You guys aren't on the list. No. Oh, and it looks like a tree. Oh, Brunswick. Yeah, we need to we need to do some work against Brunswick. All right, so uh, we'll grab the piece. We'll grab your money for good measure. Annul treaties with. Uh, with Munster? No, no, they're going to be the right faith. I think, uh, you know what? I don't think any of these are going to particularly matter. Oh, Burgundy. There we go. We do want to fight Burgundy at some point in the future. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I think that will be pretty good. We'll grab your war reparations and all the money. That will be fine, and that now brings us to... What does that bring us to? Well, it brings us to a spot where we don't really have too much to do. Okay, so uh, if we're not going to be fighting up here for a little bit, because we need to let our, uh, our jets cool, we're not going to be able to fight the Ottomans for a little bit. We're definitely way too... Uh, Way too short on manpower for that to work out, and yeah, they have a lot of people right there. Um, yeah, I think what we do is what will we prepare for? Hmm, decisions, decisions. I'm not really sure where we want to go. We could fight the Commonwealth, but again, the aggressive expansion is not something that we particularly want, although it would help us out. Uh, reclaiming some of that territory for the HRE. Yeah, because they have all of this land. You know what? Uh, any claims? Hungary, Bohemia, Austria, Commonwealth. Okay, so you know what? This actually could be doable, and we could even release an, a poll. That could be nice. In fact, uh, we could release one and then take back some cores for... Yeah, okay, so maybe we are going to go ahead and fight the Commonwealth again. As long as we're handing land off to other people, we shouldn't be... We shouldn't be the ones who are suffering at the uh, hands of uh, aggressive expansion. Alright, truce with people is finishing up. It is what it is. Uh, conversions are successful, which is very nice. Let's see, enemy invasion... All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see, we lost an Admiral. No, that's no good. You know what? We can afford to buy a new one. Thank you very, very kindly. We will happily add you onto there. And you know what? Uh, if you are our large ships, you know what? We'll add another one on here as well. A little bit of extra maneuver will make us more money, so that's always nice. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this off. So, let's see, 77%. We need 91. We're not really looking for too much. Let's go ahead and find a... 
Uh, we have a bad guy up over here. Sure. We'll march our way up there. That being said, though, it looks like uh, our allies are doing a very good job. Local trade power, manpower. You know what? For now, let's just grab the manpower. Uh, any little minor modifiers should probably be uh, beneficial. Oh, we also have a whole bunch of people taking attrition here. Ooh. Uh, what level fort is this? Level six. So we need at least 18,000. Let's go ahead and merge. Detach a siege. Everybody else, let's uh, back on up. Uh, sure. We'll just uh, see if we can uh, fix some of that. Alright. What do we got here? It looks like... Oh, what the heck? Catholic becomes the new state religion of Great Britain? What kind of absurdity are they suggesting? Did we have some kind of event back home? No, no rebels. Alright, so religious freedom for all. Missionary strength goes down and heretics tolerance goes up. Or Yeah, we're going to lose our tolerance of heretics. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and lose the stability and gain the missionary strength. That is the only reasonable outcome, in my opinion. Uh, we do have too many diplomatic relations. That does hurt, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we can afford one for now. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we should also probably go ahead and... Uh, Improve relations with Castile, maybe. That could be useful, but I guess it is what it is. We'll leave it for now. Uh, we're just wanting to piece out of this war, so let's grab the church power. Uh, or lose 33 church power. You know what? How much church power have we currently got? 47. Uh, you know what? The legitimacy does give us extra uh, room for absolutism, so... You know what? They can have influence. That's not going to bother us whatsoever. That's uh, an, a non-issue. We're not trying to revoke anything from them, so that'll all be well. Alright, let's go ahead and sue for peace here. You guys are now the right religion, please, and a thank you. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, could we return cause? Uh, release nations. Ooh. Cologne? Westphalia? Sure, I could go with having another, uh... Oh, it's either one or the other. Okay, so, uh... Actually, you know what? We're not going to do this, because they would be heretics that we're going to have to fight later. Let's just convert them, and if we, for some reason, end up, uh... End up uh, fighting them again in the future, they'll at least release the right faith nation. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got to get clever. All right, so let's grab our troops. Let's uh, let's bring this fifty-three stack over here. We'll grab uh, that eighty stack. We'll bring you guys down over there. Actually, you know what? Uh, if you're an eighty stack, we should probably go yes yeah, somewhere like that. And then who else have we got? couple of these. Oh, wait a second. We did talk about fighting the Commonwealth. Ah, uh, okay. So if we were to go ahead and release a nation, if we were to return a province, we would lose prestige. Uh, yeah, by returning this to a poll, I don't see them in our list. So we're going to have to see. Oh, and we've finally made it to zero Imperial authority. Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, we're slowly working our way forwards. Uh, yeah. Opinion there's not very good. Uh, what is this Brunswick here? We need to hurt them. Because we're going to lose the Emperorship, and that is not what we want. There is far too many benefits through being the, uh... To being the Emperor. So, let's see. Uh, we need a poll. Are they here? Lundberg, Magdeburg, Mecklenburg, Moravia, Munich, uh, Nassau, oh, and Norway, 
and then Paderborn. Okay, so there is no Apoll. So I guess if we go ahead and return the province to them. Uh, yeah, we'll lose a little bit of prestige, but they will become... Uh, they're the right... They're the right faith, so... If we do this... That will give us an extra prince. Maybe that could be enough? Alright, let's go ahead and see if this works. A little bit of prestige is fairly easily uh, navigated. So... Off we go. Alright, province has... Been handed off. And, uh, Opol, you are... Oh, you are Anglican. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I think we've figured out how we're going to do things. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, all oh, these are Venice and the others. We're not going to worry about them. Let's go ahead and see. If we were to go ahead and fight these guys... Uh, they got a lot of manpower. We could go for... Let's see. Uh, imperialism, which would be nice. Cleansing of Heresy. Also not too bad, but I think uh, that Imperialism may be the better one as the cost goes down. Although we do get less, uh, yeah, things for forced conversions and all. Uh, we could also go ahead and go for Imperial Ban. So return uh, cause... But that's, again, same amount of aggressive expansion. So, and then what's this Imperial ban? Okay, so what's the difference between this Imperial ban and the other? HRE provinces, core returns, liberation of vassals, liberation of countries. And then... Yeah, that's the exact same stuff. And it all seems to be the same. I'm not really sure on the difference there. I need to look that up. All right, but we're not going to fight them. That is, uh, yeah, we're not quite strong. Well, we probably are strong enough, but we do not want to uh, fight on into our... What do we call it? Um, coalition, because at the moment, if we just looked at... Uh, yeah, one of these fellows like Bohemia. Uh, they have Trent, Brunswick, Goswell. All of these ticks are extra fellows who are part of the coalition. Yeah, so we're definitely not going to be able to do so. Now, the good news is the Commonwealth is not a part of it, and neither is uh, Croatia or Saxony, but they are certainly a bit of a hassle nonetheless. All right, so uh, who was it that we didn't have to worry about? Brunswick. Can we see Brunswick? Uh, ooh, in fact, uh, we're not... Oh, man... Great Britain, Bohemia. Bohemia is doing pretty good. Maybe we uh, upset Bohemia? Why are they voting for Bohemia? Hmm. Bar is. That's good. Palatinate. Maybe we can fix up our reputation with them. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and uh, find all these guys. So, Trier, you are a... Uh, well, you hate us because of religion, aggressive expansion, all those other things. Uh, that should swing fairly quickly. Can we go ahead and, I don't know, maybe influence you, give you some money or something like that? Yeah, influence nation, extra opinion, sure. 300 ducats seems reasonable. Hey, and they're positive. That's a, that's a good start. And then, what else could we do? Um... Who else was that? So there was, uh, that was Trier. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the Palatinate. These guys are like us, but they're really, yeah, that aggressive expansion is quite, uh, it's hurting us quite a bit. Yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and, let's see, Luxembourg is winning. Good grief. Okay, fine. Uh, let's influence them as well. Maybe uh, that'll help us out a bit. Let's pick up, uh, we've already done Trier, Augsburg. Yeah, we're just going to go through and, uh... Oh, we have an alliance with them, but they're still not voting for us. Yeah, that aggressive expansion is a pretty big swing. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing we can do with them for now. Uh, bar is already good. We could... Hang on a second. Uh, we have trust in things, don't we? Reduce opinions using favours... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, what have we got here? Platinum, you're fine. Uh, Trier, let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't send another guy until the 26th. Okay, uh, you guys are certainly not voting for us at any given point. Yeah, you really hate us. Which is uh, quite a choice. Yeah, declared war, aggressive expansion. My goodness, yeah, okay, that, that does explain a few things. All right. Uh, mines, again, 110, 40 for Bohemia. You know what? Let's uh, influence them. That seems good. And then who are you voting for at the moment? Yourself. So you're a sort of a non-issue. Uh, yeah, we just need to deal with uh, Brunswick, which is... Hang on a second, let's just uh, move our map over. Brunswick, where are you? Oh, here you are. Wow, you are... Uh, that tiny little nation has really good reputation, it seems. Oh, and of course, we've heard how... Uh, our, our, our enemies have gone ahead and uh, sabotaged our reputation. That would make a little bit of sense as to why these guys are liked. Yeah, okay. So, you know what? Uh, if we go down here... Uh, Brunswick, no. Hang on a second. I'm trying to find my way around. I have thoughts in my head and I'm trying to make them work. Uh, let's see. Trier, if we go over to you, uh, we can do something on the 26th of May. I think we'll go ahead and see if we can go there and see what we can do. Uh, maybe if we can hurt their reputation or something, that could be helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and... Bohemia has left the uh, coalition. Okay, that could also help us. Uh, break alliances with Brunswick. There we go, you will bail on that, so that should help us. Yes, that'll give us uh, a truce between Trier and us. They're our allies anyway. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll do that. That should help us out. Oh, forced to break alliance. Eh, minus 50. You know what? They weren't voting for us anyway, but maybe they won't vote for somebody else. Uh, we will take a royal marriage, though, with Hungary. That'll be good. We'll give uh, military access. Uh, that'll help things out. All right, so... Yeah, they're still voting for Brunswick, then Bohemia. We're way down the list. Okay, this is going to take us some time. With any luck, though... Oh, wait a second. What the heck? Ah, uh, what are you doing? We're not even on the list anymore. Well, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and uh, figure out how we can fix our reputation. We may need to uh, do some creative management. I do think that improved relations at the moment is going to be our best bet for now. Uh, burn down that aggressive expansion that we've created. And uh, then from there, well... We're going to have to do some uh, some creative diplomacy. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.